guys, Jackie, and welcome back to my channel. I just woke up. It's a Sunday, so that means it's Erin Day. I don't have that much time to get ready, so I thought I'd film a realistic get ready with me. I usually take about like 10 minutes or so, so without further ado, let's get on with the video. First things first, I love using my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This one is super nice and tacky and really hydrating, especially for the winter time when I do get super dry in the face. While that's setting, we're going to go right into brows. I have this e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the shade Neutral Brown. And I'm just going to lightly fill in my brows. Honestly, like, you guys have definitely made me want to do my brows more because I don't usually do my brows. I swear I say this in every one of my videos as I'm doing my brows. But I swear to you, usually I don't do my brows. But recently... I've been noticing that my brows look kind of sparse in my photos and videos when I don't do my brows. So I just kind of like lightly fill them in and then do like a little brushy brush. Okay, and then I'm going to jump right into concealer. I don't use a lot and this stuff has definitely cut down my makeup time by a fraction. So what I usually do is I put a bit under my eyes. I generally try to avoid like that little crease area like you know where that bump is so I like to conceal right underneath that I don't use too much and before we pat that in I'm gonna go in with my bronzer I'm using the elf cream contour palette and I'm gonna mix the two darker shades I love these two shades because the darker one gives me a bit of warmth but this one is also a little cool tone so it gives me like the perfect shade for my shadows I don't go too overboard I just kind of like go right below my cheekbones. Now we're going to go in with a beauty blender. I'm going to saturate it with my Mario Badescu. And a bit on your face. Okay, now we're just going to use the pointy end and tap in our concealer. Again, kind of avoiding... The little crease bumpy area. I love this makeup look because it's really natural, it's everyday, and I just really love how less it takes for me to get ready. But you still look pretty put together because, like, you do have makeup on, if that makes sense. But it's definitely more on the natural side, and this is generally what I do every day. Sometimes I would switch up my products, but essentially, the same procedure okay and then for blush I've been trying the cold makeup look and honestly literally how I used to do my blush until recently when I was like oh I don't want to look drunk at work anymore yeah but we're gonna bring her back okay so I'm gonna go in with this Shein blush this stuff dries super, super quick, so I kind of have to work in the sections. I also love this product because there's like glitters in it, so it's kind of like a highlighter in one type of thing. I'm gonna get a bit more around the area. Trust the process, I know I look crazy. Okay, now I'm gonna curl my lashes. I don't do too much to my lashes. I recently had lash extensions, but I ripped them off recently because it was just kind of like, honestly, the place I went to, the retention was terrible. Um, I've gone to way better places, so yeah, I'm not going to go back there anymore. I was just going to rush to get it done before my 
Hawaii trip. If you don't know, I have vlogs going up on my channel, so be sure to check that out. I also have multiple parts coming out, so definitely subscribe and put the bell for notifications so you know when I do. My lashes definitely take the longest to get ready, um, just because like of how intricate I am when I'm curling them. I don't want them to look fudged up, so that's why I usually take my time. Mascara, I always go in with two. I go in with this Tarte Surfer Curl, if you know, you know, my holy grail. And then I also have the Maybelline Sky High. I have it in Cosmic Black. I really love this because it coats my lashes and makes them look super black, giving it the effect that I have a lot of lashes, if that makes sense. It definitely appears to voluminize because it really coats my lashes. So I usually go in with this on the outer half of the lashes if that makes sense i don't usually use this like at the roots i've learned from ansi to not touch the roots so i usually coat the ends of my lashes with this one And then going with the drier mascara, the Tarte Surfer Curl, I'm gonna go touch up the base just very, very slightly. I like using a drier mascara for the roots because it's dry enough that it won't weigh down the lashes and the curls. So you should go in with like a pretty generous quote. I mean coat. Okay, this look is giving me like clean girl vibes, but I'm gonna touch up my blush a little bit. I just feel like on camera it looks a bit wonky, but I swear to you it's not. I'm just taking some powder brush and I'm just gonna like lightly dab. Last but not least, I've been loving this inner corner highlight. I have this sparkly eyeshadow from Kiko. Um, but this is in the shade 12 smart and then I just go in with like a super small brush I dip it in there as you can tell it's like literally one of my favorite ones and I just go in there really really quickly This stuff does build but I love the soft effect. It's not like glitter. It's more like a sheen So I really like putting that into like the tear duct area Honestly, I haven't been like a lips girl in the longest time, but I'm just gonna use the same blush on my lips. It's like a nice flush of color. I'm gonna go in with a bit of powder. I don't usually like bake my face, but I'm gonna take my translucent powder. And I got a little like spongy applicator thing, so I'm just gonna go into the powder. Getting a little bit, I usually don't bake my face, like I said. Um, so I'm gonna go in super lightly and then just kind of do the T zone. My most problematic area is my T zone, so I'm just gonna push the powder into my forehead and then a bit on like the nose. One thing I do is like I lift my nose to the side and kind of get in the crease area. There's like little to no product on this applicator, but I just like to really just like dab the slice amount of powder I can. And then I'm just gonna set like the bottom half of my face. Okay, and there you have it. That's it for makeup, and it's time for outfits. I actually picked out a few items from Temu. You guys don't know, they are open for the United States. This is a super affordable shopping 
site and I love affordable if you guys don't me thank you for collaborating with this portion of the video they have sent me some items for me to review for you guys and showcase so I did pick out a full outfit starting off we have these cargo pants they have been so in I just think a brown is so neutral for like the fall and winter season so I have this one I picked out a olive turtleneck for the top it's in this ripped material it's super super soft and it's pretty comparable to a lot of brands I already own and shop at I really love the quality but it's at a fraction of the price I also have a coupon code which will be linked down below as well but you could use it to save some coins the final piece that I got is actually something that I've been wanting to get for so long if you know you know puffer vests have been so in this season and I finally have my hands on one it is a cropped one and it has like the stitches at the bottom for you to like cinch in at your waist pretty good quality it's nice and lightweight I'm gonna show you how it looks all together so here's the full outfit the turtleneck is super nice quality it's nice and warm but the turtleneck comes up pretty tall it's a bit higher than what I thought. Um, the jeans are more like a mid-rise kind of. It's like right on my belly button, so I wouldn't call that high-rise. Really nice and comfortable. It's also ankle length, so it's perfect for the short girlies. The one thing though is that I do wish the puffer vest has a pocket on the side so I could kind of like tuck it in and be like all cozy and stuff. It does have a zipper and two ties at the bottom so you could really like cinch it in if you wanted to. The pants and everything are in a size small. Sorry if you hear the bell, that's my cat. Coco, you want to come say hi? So this is Coco Chanel. She is so lovely to join us today. The pants are an ankle length, so it's definitely perfect for the petite girlies. I'm only 5'4", so it's definitely really nice to have something that's not overly long where I'm like dragging my feet across and tripping over. So yeah, this is the full outfit. I'm gonna insert a full body view for you guys to see how the outfit really looks. I'm gonna keep my hair in a claw clip just because it's like low maintenance. I'm running a bit late now, so I've got to go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for today's quick little video. I will have a coupon code and everything that I'm wearing listed down below for you guys to check out. Don't forget to subscribe and put the bell on for notifications for my travel vlogs and any of my other fashion related videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.